You know Fateh Makkah? You want to see forbearance? Fateh Makkah. This was where the Muslims after years of persecution in Makkah, they're driven out of Makkah and then they go, then, then they have to stay another 10 years in Medina. And today they walk into Makkah and the Mushrikeen of Makkah are so scared that none of them even draw their swords. And can you imagine the Messenger of Allah walking into Makkah today? He looks around him and he sees that place where Bilal would be dragged, where Samayya was martyred, where Ammar Yasir and the entire family were persecuted and the Messenger of Allah would walk past and he would rub his hand over the head of Ammar and he would say, ya ala yasir fa inna mawidukum al -jannah. He would say, oh, have sabr, family of Yasir, because your abode by Allah is Jannah. All those memories have come back. And at one ishara, the Messenger of Allah could have wiped out the entire Mushrikeen. And then the Messenger of Allah stood by the Kaaba. And all the Mushrikeen are standing there and they're trembling. What's he going to do to us? And the Prophet ﷺ asked him, he said, What do you expect from me? What do you expect me to do to you? He could have said, you are the same one who killed my daughter Zainab when she was leaving. She was uh, through a spear, she fell off the mount and for an entire year she was sick in Makkah. When they thought she was dying, they sent her to Medina. You are the one who sent one of my daughters in Ethiopia. I hardly ever saw her. So you are the one who destroyed my family, you destroyed the livelihood, you persecuted and you killed the Sahaba. And the Messenger of Allah stands there by the Kaaba and he said, What do you expect of me today? And the Mushrikeen say, Oh Muhammad, you are Kareem. You are the son of a Kareem person and your grandfather was Kareem. You're honorable. Your father was honorable. Your grandfather was honorable. And the Prophet said, Idhabu antum tulaqa wala alaykum al yawm. To go, all of you go, you're free. There is no reckoning upon you. What does this show us? This shows us forbearance, exactly. Forbearance, the definition of forbearance is that you let it go. You overlook the wrongs of other people when you have the capacity and the ability to take revenge. And in Allah's definition and in the message of Allah's definition, when you show forbearance, you're not the smaller person, you are the bigger person. And this is why brothers and sisters, we need to really reassess because it happens to us all the time. Why do we need to reply? Why do we need to answer back? Why if somebody says something, we need to reply or somebody does something, we need to be as bad if not worse. That person has wronged us. Why do we need to stoop to the level of that person? 